we go from the Soaring Eagle Casino in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. This is King of the Cage, Bad Boys, being brought to you in part by Rockstar Energy Drinks. I'm being joined, of course, by my co-host, Sean Canova. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. It's a phenomenal venue up here in, uh, in Michigan. It's an unbelievable hotel, and this is uh, second to none. Curious to see what this kid's stand-up looks like. He has a little cauliflower on himself, so he might have a little wrestling background. You know, that's a great mix to have wrestling and boxing in your arsenal. Yeah, that looks a little fresh, though. That ear's pretty red. It has to be really super tender. Looks like someone needs to take a syringe and suck it out. It's one of the most disgusting things I've ever witnessed in my life, but uh, that's another story. I don't want to hear about this disgusting thing, Steve. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. Okay? <laughs> all right, enough, enough about the cauliflower. It's all about mixed martial arts here tonight. King of the Cage, Bad Boys being brought to you by Rockstar Energy Drinks. say that karate doesn't work in the game of MMA but we're starting to see some fighters utilizing it and not only utilizing but joking around like Mayhem Miller is one of those guys where he just goes in there and just like does the karate kid stance but people like Kung Lee I mean god that guy is amazing you may not call it karate but he's using his feet and, yeah, and it yeah, works he's adapting his, his feet are nasty his stand up is nasty you know that's uh it's it's making its way back in it's funny as we evolve and 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 utilizing different techniques and different styles. It's funny how older things tend to come back. The wrestling comes back, the karate comes back, but really it boils down to is being disciplined in everything. It's kind of like uh, Puff Daddy re uh, mixing like 80s music and stuff, you know what I mean? He's recycling it, and it works again. For a couple of years it doesn't work, but for some reason karate all of a sudden has made a comeback. We see guys like Justin Sampson tear their uh, opponents up as well using the feet. It's sure. amazing, amazing stuff. We'll see if he'll utilize his karate skills here tonight. Are you ready? Let's go. And here we go. Boxer against karate guy. Oh, and that's a nasty one, two, three, four. Those are really good hands by the uh, Detroit boxing guy here. He's really quick, really clean. He instantly goes into the clinch here to stay away from those punches. He had a one, two, three, left, right, left hook. That really hurt. Trying to gain his composure back here and just holding on. Not really trying to work for the takedown, just trying to get his bearing straight. And you want to go to a position, I mean, if it's not working for you in the stand-up game, you got to try something else. Oh, absolutely. You need to get out of there as fast as you possibly can. I mean, it's a smart move by a kid who doesn't have too many fights to know that instantly he was outclassed within the first 10 seconds and moves in for the clinch. Now, some guys have a lot of pride and just say forget it and just keep doing it, and that's how they get knocked out. Yeah, it would have been a quick night because by this time he'd be already be on his way back to the locker room if he stayed with his boxing. Constantly trying to go for the takedown here. That's a good judo throw there, but back to their feet they go. Everybody's gaining their composure. We're starting to get into the rhythm of the fight at this point. They break it up. Curious to see what's going to happen here. utilizing the karate skills but then gets another takedown here yeah ends up with the straight right that's the one thing about that karate unless you can set it up with your punches you can set it up with your wrestling it's really easy to defend with the straight right left hook combination and a lot of guys they capitalize on kicks when they get kicked they go for the punch and that's a great great takedown right there but when an opponent goes for a kick, all of a sudden the other opponent will like just automatically aim for his face, like punch right away because oh, absolutely. they're that's prone your, to not blocking, right? That's your number one defense uh, to a leg kick, to a high kick, if you turn it at the straight right. But uh, well, actually we have a, uh, a guillotine sunk in pretty deep here. If we can regain guard, this could be finished. 
This could be a good win for the karate master himself. Well, he has an arm trapped in there. It's really hard to finish somebody with that arm trapped in there. And, you know, it's really difficult to, to tap a wrestler with a, with a choke anyway. They're used to that discomfort of having uh, something around their face, around their head. They spent their whole life like that. So, uh, just, being, just being composed here, just taking his time. Exerting a lot of energy trying to finish this guillotine choke, though. Back to our feet here. It's great action to round one. Yeah, that was a pretty lopsided round one, though. You know, Jay needs to come back out and uh, have a fresh new game plan. Let's take a look at this replay. There's a jab, straight right, left hook. And here it comes back again. One, two, three. There's that combination. There's four punches there to the one punch. And that's training in boxing. And a good judo throw takedown. Ends up in half guard. Gets back up to his feet. And really controlling this fight here. And another solid takedown. Ending up in half guard. You know, this takedown's been a lot of points in the judges' eyes, too. And that's why we oh. That was a really good straight lead right, but that's the difference between somebody who trains boxing and somebody who trains mixed martial arts and, you know, and taekwondo or whatever it is that he's training. You throw one punch and you train to back out. Well, boxers will throw three, four, five punches. The next thing you know, he ends up on the ground again. Yeah, it's funny as uh, both fighters are trying to take this to the ground. Trying to show whose ground game is more superior here as he works from the guard. Well, that's what happens in your first few fights. You know, you want to show everybody how well And there goes an arm bar attack, and that's solid. We could finish that, and this is unbelievable. Oh, man. Tell you what, it's arm bar night here tonight. Keep in the cage, bad boys being brought to you by Rockstar Energy Drinks. Let's take a quick look at the replay here, how this all ended up. Yeah, you can see it's just, uh, he got caught. Obviously an arm bar, taps out, and it's over. Hey guys. Ladies and gentlemen, after 47 seconds into round two, your winner by tap out, Tom O'Grady. Let's give a round of applause for Jason Holmes. Don O'Grady showing some good jujitsu, showing some good boxing. That kid could be a talent in the next couple of years. That's funny, we see so much good talent at this stage and of the game. 